Hello everyone, it is my pleasure to have you here on this Phenom Ferros G2 webinar where we will discuss, be discussing the STEM sample hub. My name is Marcel van der Put and I'm the Product Marketing Manager for Field Emission SEMS. And together with our applications engineer Rogier Miltenberg, I would like to introduce you to the STEM technology, its applications and how to work with it on the Phenom Ferros G2. So let's start first with the microscope that enables the STEM technology, and that is the Phenom Ferros G2 Desktop SEM, the only desktop system in the world with a field emission electron source. And it is this electron source that allows for a very high resolution being below an impressive 2 nanometers. So next to its very small footprint, the microscope is very accessible thanks to its loading times under 2 minutes and a very intuitive user interface. So for all users in a wide variety of environments that are interested in nanomaterial research, the Phenom Ferris G2 is the microscope of choice. And just to underline that statement, we have here a few examples that really show the power of a field emission gun. And that is that it shows an outstanding performance over the full KV range on a wide range of applications. So beam sensitive materials like electrospun fibers can be imaged very sharply at 1 kV well, for instance, more conductive samples like copper crystals, graphene sheets, and selenite particles can be imaged with great contrast. The high resolution capabilities can be nicely demonstrated with, for instance, gold nanoparticles and carbon nanotubes that can be imaged with a great level of detail, all enabled by the field emission source. So, this beautiful stem detector, what is actually the novelty? And the answer is very simple. It's actually the fourth available detector that we launch, next to the backscatter detector, the secondary electron detector, and the analytical EDS detector. And the interesting part about this detector is that it is fully integrated in a sample holder. The Phenom Ferrous is compatible with different sample holders, like for instance the temperature controlled sample holder, but also the motorized tilt and rotate sample holder. And also the stem detector is in that sense a sample holder. And like all other sample holders, also, this one will be fully integrated in the UI, making it very easy to use. So, how does STEM technology work? Well, in the sample holder, any standard 3mm TEM grid can be mounted, so that it can be imaged in transmission mode. STEM imaging contrast is generated via electrons that transmit through the sample, so we have to make sure the sample is thin enough so that electrons can actually reach the detector that is underneath the sample. A typical sample thickness is about 100 nanometers. Then the user has access to three different types of signals that are complementary to each other. The least scattered electrons are referred to as bright field electrons, as indicated with orange in the schematic. Bright field electrons generate a contrast that is mostly determined by the electron transparency of the sample. More dense parts of the material limit the electrons to travel through the sample, leading to darker areas. Well, when there's nothing to block the electrons, more bright regions will appear, and hence the name bright field. The more off-axis signals consist of electrons that are scattered by the material, meaning that the brighter areas represent a higher signal, leaving the dark areas for when there's no scattering at all. Hence the name dark field imaging, or high angle angular dark field imaging, for the outer portion of the signal. For the dark field signals, the contrast is thus proportional to the z-contrast of the sample as heavier atoms tend to scatter more. The differences of the signals are nicely shown on an alumina lamella as seen on the right-hand side, where the different grains can be clearly separated via transmission mode. 